Grace, wherever you are watching from, I welcome you to this prophetic talk. I have a brief message that I just want the people of the nation of Zimbabwe to understand. Sometimes when people are in pain, in struggles, they may think that God left them. Because when we say God's will, let us understand that God's will does not necessarily remove the, the challenges. Remember, God did not promise the children of Israel a safe journey. He promised them a safe arrival. Why am I saying so? Because they went through certain nations and they had to fight battles. If you read your Bible, you find out even when they crossed Red Sea and Jordan, they fought battles. And these battles, most fought battles. Joshua fought battles. They were Aramaic and all those armies they were facing along the way until they reached their destiny. Now, I want to show you something so that the people of Zimbabwe can be encouraged. This is a devotional word. It's not like a prophetic message. It's a devotional word to give you strength to understand that. Let's not lose hope. You know, we have the story of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. You will understand that when they were put in the, in the fire, uh, in that furnace, blast furnace, God did not uh, leave them. The, the fire was uh, increased. God did not stop uh, the king. At the same time, God did not prevent these guys not to be um, arrested. They were put in chains. If someone looks at this, you may say, there's no God here. So it was part of the process. As if that was not enough, they were thrown in the fire. I want you to understand as we speak now that we are like in the fire. Zimbabwe is like in the fire. They were thrown in the fire, but in the midst of that, the Bible tells us that the king saw the fourth man. They did not hear about the fourth man, but the fourth man represented our Lord Jesus Christ according to what we believe on the angel of the Lord. And then um, the fire did not bend them. It only bent what they were bound with. But the fire did not turn them. So I want to give you this message, a message of hope, uh, to strengthen you, your faith, to believe that God is still in the process, despite whatever people might face, the challenges, the, 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 the what seemingly the, uh, like difficulties, the battles that even the nation is fighting. God is still there. God did not promise the children of Israel a safe but a safe arrival. The challenge is that uh, Meshach Shabrin and Abednego, whom I'm giving reference here, of being put in the fire uh, was part of the process, but God delivered them. So we, we must not look um, our victory um, based on what we see. You know, God does not only work uh, to show, to prove that he, we are in the will of God. We must see things moving uh, smoothly. So Zimbabwe, have courage, be encouraged. God is still in the process. Or if you want, I borrow this mantra that God is in it. He is moving. He is still in the work of fulfilling his promise upon the nation's bubble. Despite these challenges, despite the fire that people might feel economically and politically, as seemingly giving discomfort in a lot of people. But God is still working the process of the nation of Zimbabwe. Continue to follow this channel and you continue to know the mind of God and be encouraged. God bless you.